Did you know you can actually buy real hacking gadgets online? Yep, even on Amazon and AliExpress. These tools let you scan nearby Wi-Fi networks or practice cracking test passwords in a safe, controlled way. It's a cool way to see how hackers operate and more importantly, learn how to better protect your own devices. You'll find all the gadget links down in the description. Number 15. Hack 5 Rubber Ducky This little device looks just like a regular USB flash drive, but it's actually a stealthy keystroke injection tool. It's known as the Rubber Ducky, and computers see it as a normal keyboard, which means it can type out commands at lightning speed. It's popular among penetration testers because it can quickly deliver payloads or run scripts on systems, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. It's often used in red team exercises or social engineering tests to see how vulnerable a system is to USB-based attacks. Super easy to use and surprisingly powerful, it's become a go-to tool for ethical hackers testing security defenses. Number 14. M5 Stick This is a compact device with a range of powerful capabilities often used by cybersecurity researchers and ethical hackers. It can simulate actions like logging keystrokes or testing login systems, which helps identify potential vulnerabilities in devices or networks. Some use it in controlled environments to demonstrate how attackers could exploit weak spots, like unauthorized access attempts, or even testing how connected devices, like Bluetooth speakers, respond under pressure. It's also been used in educational settings to show how denial-of-service attacks work and to highlight why strong passwords and device protection matter. It's a reminder of how important it is to stay aware and protect your digital space. Number 13. YubiKey In the world of cybersecurity, even the protectors need protection. That's where this device comes in. It's like your personal digital bodyguard. This powerful security key helps lock down your accounts, email, logins, and many more private information, so only you can access them. And if someone tries to steal it, good luck to them. It's built with advanced features like fingerprint recognition and one-time password OTP, support, meaning even if someone grabs it, they still can't get in without you. It's basically your own mini fortress for the digital world. Number 12. Signal Owl It starts off looking harmless, a free, super-fast Wi-Fi hotspot. Sounds like a great deal, right? But the moment you connect, you're walking right into a trap. Hackers can use fake hotspots like this to secretly access your device, steal personal data, or even install malware without you realizing it. And in some cases, they can go further, targeting payment apps or systems linked to your phone and potentially draining your bank account. That's why connecting to random public Wi-Fi networks can be seriously risky. Always double check before you connect because that free internet could end up costing you a lot more. Number 11. Shark Jack When hackers are in action, they're always on edge, worried someone might be watching them. That's where the Shark Jack steps in. This tool helps take that fear away by scanning the network non-stop for any suspicious activity. If someone tries to snoop around, it quickly detects them and can even launch a counterattack by accessing their system. It also silently collects data moving through the network, like messages shared between devices. And with the right payloads, it can freeze a target device remotely, completely locking it down. Number 10. GSM Master Card This gadget might look like an ordinary SIM card, but it's far from it. Once inserted into someone's phone, even for just five minutes, it can give remote access to their texts, call logs, location, and more. No apps, no permissions, just instant access. Sounds terrifying, right? While it was originally designed for law enforcement and investigative use, it's often misused by black hat hackers for spying. The interface is simple, but the damage it can do is serious. It allows full remote monitoring of any GSM-based device, making it one of the more dangerous tools out there. Number 9. Keycrock this tiny gadget may look like a regular USB, but it's actually a stealthy keylogger, built to record everything typed on a computer without being noticed. Once plugged in, it sits quietly between the keyboard and the system, capturing keystrokes like passwords, emails, chats, you name it. All the data gets stored inside, so later on, someone can just plug it into another computer and retrieve everything. Some high-end versions even send the info wirelessly, meaning hackers can collect the data remotely. 
To stay hidden, some models come with a built-in VPN feature, making it look like they're operating from a completely different location. Number 8. Cyber Chatter This device was originally made for kids, but its features and secure interface have started catching the attention of hackers. Why? Because it allows group communication through normal phones or chat apps over wireless networks, making it hard to trace. Only the people involved in the conversation can see what's being said. Even if someone intercepts the messages, they won't be able to read them, thanks to the built-in encryption that scrambles the content so only the sender and receiver can understand it. And to top it off, the device even includes some fun games, so users can chat and play at the same time. Number 7. Ponagachi V2 This gadget doesn't just look cool. It's like a powerful hacking toy with a sneaky side. It's way stronger than the older version and can get into someone's social media without them even knowing. It uses a trick called de-authentication to steal passwords super fast. But it's not just for social media. It can break Wi-Fi passwords too, like it's nothing. And the wildest part? The ghosting feature. Once it connects to a device, it can take over the screen and show any pictures or videos you want. You're in control, while the other person has no idea what's going on. Number 6. SIM Maker Devices like this are often used by hackers because they're surprisingly easy to operate, and that's exactly what makes them dangerous. Just by inserting a SIM card, someone could potentially access private details like contact lists, call logs, and in some cases, even the last known location. But the real risk lies in its cloning feature. It can copy a SIM card, meaning if the original phone gets a call or text, the attacker could see it too. Many of these devices support SIM cards from different countries and transfer data via USB. Some advanced versions even claim to read debit card info. That's why it's so important to keep your SIM and payment cards secure, because tools like this exist, and they pose a serious threat to your privacy. Number 5. Hackify Hackify is a powerful tool designed for ethical hacking and learning but it can also be misused in serious ways if not handled responsibly. It includes features like network scanning, packet sniffing, exploit frameworks, and even malware generation, all of which can be used to breach systems, intercept private data, or bypass security measures without authorization. Some users may misuse it to hack into networks, steal login credentials, perform man-in-the-middle attacks, or clone websites to trick users. Since it can also potentially break through weak encryption or simulate phishing attempts, using Hackify without permission can lead to major privacy violations and legal trouble under laws like the GDPR or local cybercrime regulations. Number 4. ESP32 and 07. This thing is seriously dangerous, and there's a lot packed into it. For starters, it can launch DOS attacks that crash websites. It can also mess with Bluetooth devices. Imagine hijacking someone's earphones and blasting music without them knowing. On top of that, it can send malware to phones, either damaging them or taking full control. It can even block mobile networks and SIM signals. One of the scariest parts? It can break through security like two-factor authentication, meaning someone's phone could get hacked without any clue. Since it's customizable, it can be used for a bunch of different attacks, making it one of the most dangerous tools out there. Number 3. Webcam Cover Think your laptop camera is safe just because the little light isn't on? Think again. Hackers can turn on your webcam without triggering the light and record you without you ever knowing. Sounds creepy, right? That's why this clever little gadget exists. A webcam cover slide. It's super simple. Just stick it over your laptop's camera and slide it closed when you want privacy. Need the camera? Slide it open. In a world full of Zoom calls and video chats, protecting your privacy is more important than ever. Even celebs and FBI agents use these. Do you have one? If not, hit the link in the description and grab yours. Number 2. Red Key USB This device works the opposite of a regular USB. Instead of saving files, it's made to delete them, fast. It's a go-to tool for hackers in emergency situations. When they're in trouble, like someone's after them, they quickly back up their data, plug this in, and boom, everything's wiped out in seconds. It can even reset the whole system so nothing can be recovered. 
It's like something straight out of a spy movie. One plug and all the secrets are gone before they disappear. Number 1. Proxmark 3. Last on the list is the Proxmark 3, a powerful tool used to test and explore the security of RFID and NFC systems, like the ones in access cards and contactless payments. This device can read info from those cards, clone them, and even create fake ones to unlock places or fool systems. Hackers can use it to break into buildings, steal private data, or trick payment terminals. Since it can act like a real card, it's a serious risk if used the wrong way. But on the flip side, security experts use it to find flaws and make these systems stronger. So yeah, it's a tool that can be used for good or bad. It all depends on who's holding it. And that's all for our list of hacking gadgets. Hope you found them as amazing and interesting as we did. Now tell us, which one was your favorite? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.